Hey guys, it's me, Mitchell Shiro 2. Today, finally, we're going to review this big guy over at my back from Xiaomi Yo Pin, the Xiaomi Yomi 21 phase refrigerator. Probably the biggest thing that I've landed since I've reviewed Xiaomi. From the, the second biggest problem is my Mi TV 55, but this is currently the biggest Xiaomi gadget. I have ever landed. And of course, after so many persuasion, here comes the YP. <laughs> she's the one who's handling this one, so she's the expert. So let's go ahead and review this product. Shall we? Okay. So this is the logo of Xiaomi right here and these are the energy ratings in China. So everything's still in Chinese since this has not debuted outside China. So it's a two-door refrigerator and this big one is a 21-inch like a big Mi Pad right here. Okay, so it's a Xiaomi 21 face, right? It even has a camera here, selfie camera. So this is designed by... Viomi, okay, Air Pro. This is a 428 liter refrigerator, pretty big. It can store uh, a lot of things inside. So we'll take a good look until down. Okay, so and on the floor you can screw it. Okay, so you can adjust it. Of course, not all floors are even, so you need to adjust it so that it won't shake left and right. So. Right now, we have been using it for around three weeks or more. So you can see that we haven't even peeled off some of the films. And taking a good look at the sides, it's like this. It's pretty, pretty color stainless steel. Okay, so this side is a bit warm. Okay, so on the other side, it's not, not that warm. Okay, so, so we'll be asking the wifey about her opinion about this big refrigerator so after using for three weeks so what do you think are the advantages what are the things that you like about this refrigerator compared to the conventional ones i actually this is a, uh, an anniversary gift for me uh, it's from my husband and i'm going to give you an honest review there you go so first, let's take a look um, in the inside first. There, this is the chi chiller part. Mm -hmm. there. Um, compared to my former or previous ref, this ref is much more compact. There's a uh, lesser space. There. Okay. Yeah. So everything is. And then here is the freezer part. See all my food there. So she's my manager for this ref. What I like about this um, ref is all about this LCD screen that you can see over here. There are lots of options that we can uh, we can use to entertain us. Like for for instance, you have the time here. Mm -hmm. You also have the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth enabled. Then here you can see the the temperature for the freezer it's negative 18 degrees and here chiller it's 6 degrees you can adjust it also with your own preference then here is the Xiaomi shop or the Xiaomi Yopin shop you can shop online also then there's the date then the year location and this is the AI uh, AI you, you can ask anything from this ref but you have to speak in Chinese in Mandarin Okay. Then we have here is the you can basically watch movies. Yeah, it's the also. like the YouTube there in China. Uh, yes. There are a lot of movies there that needs to be paid. There are some free ones, but yeah, you just really need to search There's for the free ones. Frozen here. Yep. Yeah, so it's updated. Then we can also go. Back, let's go back to the main menu. We can also. Listen to music while eating, right? Mm. So 
you can display it there of course in Chinese also there okay so the sounds is come firing out from this this area and this area okay so you can control the volume as well okay, let's see this one this is the memo pad um, you can mm. write anything you like here and um, I am used to putting lots of papers here. Last to post it. Uh, you just use the magnet just to post everything. Hmm. But now here, I, I can use this one as my memo pad. See? Probably that's one of the best featured in yeah. this so ref. You can also draw anything, mm -hmm. or you can adjust your you can adjust your pen also. Or maybe you can type it. Okay. So and just shave it. So that's the memo pad. And then there are of course the set. There we can save it also. So if we're just going to look back the the notes we have entered there. Right there. And then also we can go to the settings. Like uh, if you're cooking in the kitchen and you want to set a timer for it, there. It's like uh, this one is for cooking congee. Porridge. There. Porridge. Or you can, when you're steaming fish or this one, pan fry. So you can set your timer. Yeah, and it will remind you after the set time. Just like an alarm clock. Next, this is my favorite, favorite um, menu here. It's the, mm. you can, if, if you're wondering what to cook for the day, and that's what I'm going through every day, you can just look at this recipe. For example, you wanted to cook um, spaghetti. So let's type spaghetti. So, Italian. Okay. Let's uh, search it and there you can see lots of recipe different kinds of recipe that Whoa. would help you in preparing your dish for the day mm, makes there. the kids like to eat so your for food for example if you want to uh, like to try a different like western or eastern way of cooking your mm -hmm. your spaghetti there White sauce, red sauce, pesto. So everything is in here. But it's in Chinese. So you must know how to read Chinese for you to enjoy this feature. See? Or step by step cooking. Yeah. So for those of you who don't know how to cook, you can you can buy this ref and then just use this feature instead of uh, trying to search for YouTube there. See? Really, one of the nice feature here. Yes, this is uh, the. Um, okay, what else? So yeah, basically she has covered everything from top to bottom, every features that uh, is, is included, and of course we can sync this to our Mi Home app, and yeah, basically it just shows you the temperature inside your app, and there's nothing much to control. Uh, the only downside I can see is that it's in Chinese. There's still no English settings as of the moment. And it's not even selling outside China. I just happened to land one here. So, yeah. Now let's see the other features. It's not only what you wish to type or what, what dish would you like to search for. If you cannot think of any, any, any dish, you can just look at this one the menu itself so for example let's try um, my kids like um, fried rice and also here let's go to the fried rice so that's a suggested mm. menu so you can see the on your rice also it's here the pineapple fried rice what else um, the fuji and fried rice salted fish so basically everything everything are here see so if you're just going to look back, if you don't know how to cook, maybe a um, pao zi. See? Mm. There's 
xiao long bao there. Basically, tells you how to cook. See? Step, step by step, by step tutorial. See? Really. There. So overall, I'm happy with this anniversary gift given to me by my husband. It's very useful. <laughs> right. Okay, there. You can see that this ref is very, very powerful that we can connect almost everything. Yes. This is what we call the Internet of Things or we call it the IoT. So basically, your ref can control your washing machine, it can control your kettle, can control your electric fan, your robot vacuum. and everything basically. So that's where we are gearing towards in the next uh, couple of years after. And yeah, it's pretty much evident that everything is connected to the internet right now. So yeah, it's... Aircon also. Yeah, so... So almost all we are complete already with, this, with these things. With yes. these appliances. Mm -hmm. So it's just a matter of click of your fingertips. You can control everything. And I mean everything. Okay. So yeah. So basically we have given you, actually she has given you the full detail on how to use this refrigerator. Uh, all the features, all the, probably the connectivity to other gadgets that we can do, how to watch YouTube, how to listen to music, how to take down notes, and how to check out new menu for your family. Okay, so if you like our tutorial, this video, and if you want to see more of her, do comment below, hit that like button, and we hope to see her again on our future video. Okay, so once again, I'm Mitchell Shiro too, and she's... I'm the wife of Xiaomi Review, and thanks for watching. I hope to see you on our next video. Bye!